Hello everybody and welcome back to another episode of Coral Island. I am the Little Gamer and this is our playthrough of the full release. Now there is a festival running today, consider checking it out. So we have our harvest festival today, which is very exciting. And since the last time I recorded, we have had the roadmap for 1.1 and 1.2 update, which is fab. However, the majority of the stuff that's being added, there's going to be attractions and things like that. Um, they're all from town rank A. Um, and then I think there's a few uh, bits and bobs here and there, but the majority of it is later game content. However, we're going to get another update in April, I believe it was. So the 1.1 update isn't coming until uh, April, at, at the very least. <laughs> it's, not, it's not coming before April. Um, so we have another two months to go. So my plan is hopefully to get to the end of year one, uh, get through the summer, summer, winter. And so I haven't played the winter for a very, very long time. And then hopefully we'll be able to start the new year with the 1.1 update. Um, see how far we get with that and then if they've made any changes to any festivals and things like that we will be able to see them be able to check them out so i am going to uh do i my bits and bobs um whoops that wasn't what i was going for however i can't remember when um, the festival starts. I have an extra. I don't know who that is. Uh, notes. 7 p.m. Okay. So I'm going to grind. I may as well. Um, get some extra resources and things like that um maybe go foraging to get some presents for the harvest festival because we're going to need them well we don't need them but we have our quail here caramel which we got last episode and we also have our new goat did I get more than one goat? I can't remember. No. Oh, I got a goat and a sheep. Wow. Right, so I will see you all in a little bit for our harvest festival. I was going to mine some bronze and found this Titan Aram. Now I was sure is that uh, that they they grow in the winter or is that the Rufus sub, uh, something Rufus something? Um, it's the first one I found two weeks in. Um, let's see, where's my bag? I'm lost already. There we go. Titan Aaron smells horrible. I knew they smelled horrible, but we have to use that to make Titan Aram honey for the goddess offering. So I hope we find another one. Um, otherwise, um, I'm not even going to be able to sell it to see what it sells for because I'll need to make it into honey. So, let's 
see. Oh, I hope I find another one. Okay then, we did. I did a uh, bit of gathering and the like. So it is now nearly time for the festival. So we're going to check. Wrong button again. We're going to check our notes. So. Harvest Festival. The Harvest Festival is coming up on 4 15th at 7 pm in Alun Alun Square. Legendary farmer Jeff Smith will be the judge for the harvest display to enter. Bring your best products from each of the following six categories vegetables, fruits, flowers, coop products, barn products, artisan products. Okay, so we're taking one of each, which is what I had planned to do. So we have our, so we have our fruit. Our vegetable, um, our flower, we have a goat milk. So I'm hoping goat milk is better than, don't know which one would be better. So that's our barn product, coop product, large egg. That's better energy wise and our artisan product as our large wool cloth because it's the newest thing we got. Um, so that's a fruit. See that's better. But um, goat milk is obviously further in than the wool. So this is what we are going to take and we're going to see how it does. It's a very big pumpkin. A pumpkin, okra, orchid, goat milk, iridium. See, I really hoped we would have got, uh, well, we've got the goat milk, but we haven't got quail. We only got that the other day. Um, so I'm still considering was it a gold duck egg? It was. I'm gonna switch. Um, we're gonna we're gonna take the duck egg instead then, because it's the next animal up. I'm presuming it's got to be better. You would think so. Um, because the thing with these festivals is they don't tell you. You have to guess or look it up on a wiki. <laughs> Which uh, tends to be what I always done. Well, I always do that for Stardew. Well, that, I did that for Stardew at one point. Well, Lotus. That's new for this season as well. So I wonder if there's a few that don't pop up till second half of the season, maybe? It's a possibility. Maple leaf cutter moth. It has metallic wings. Oh, still don't have to offer it. Right, it is now seven o'clock. Better start the harvest festival. Right, let's check our pamphlets then. So we have our harvest display over here. We have smashing pumpkins, apple bobbing, and the harvest festival booth. Now I, oh, I always do that to close the pamphlet. The, uh, the one I hate the most is the smashing pumpkins mini game because it didn't seem to work properly to me, but hey ho. My brothers and I helped bake the moon cakes. It was fun. Moon cakes, moon cakes. Are you ready with your crops? Don't worry too much about the competition. It's all in good fun. I don't think Bobby agrees with you. 
here to keep my niece company. She said she wanted to look for worms with me. My niece just got worms, and I mean that liter literally. She has a box, dirt, and worms. We used to have a swimming contest here at the lake, but the community voted to move it to the beach. Oh, okay. Mind you, it's probably a bit harder to do swimming in that lake. I'm not cooking today, just enjoying the day with my beautiful wife. Uh, where'd she go? <laughs> Should I get more mooncakes, you think? Making these lanterns with Alice really brought back some good memories. I've never seen anything like this before. Things are different back in the city. Still got to find Waku. Who are you? Oh. Okay. I like coming to events like this. I get to do my own socialising. Then I get to use my spare time to do something more useful. <laughs> yes, I quite agree. Do all your socialising socialising at festivals and then never talk to them again. I gotta learn to make mooncakes. You're a farmer, right? Do you know how to make them? I don't. Don't be too focused on business, Sam. Relax and enjoy the festival. So we're looking for Waku somewhere. I hope you're having a good time. Oh. I overheard that the Beluga farmers sent their best crops this year, better than last year, apparently. So he sent flowers and honey. So there's no variety. He doesn't get variety points. So hopefully... Good luck against Beluga Nova. We need to teach them a lesson. Why aren't they participating? I really like your outfit today. I think it's very flattering. Cool. And then I told that slime to scram. Luckily, it agreed. Close call. Where's Waku? Oh, there he is. Fall must be a busy time for you. Is that it? Is that all I get? Sometimes I get carried away tweaking the blend of coffee beans for special events like these. When I try to replicate it, I have no idea how. Oh, handsome is here. The mooncakes, the ambiance, everything is always great this time of year. Betty's mooncakes are just the best. Maybe I should maybe i should make try making some too <laughs> try to make some too i presume that I should say right let's check these shops shall we have you got a shop no you're just standing there and looking pretty you look relaxed dear art dinner has been testing out new recipes at home for the cooking contest dinners have been great and interesting at times Right, shop, shop, mooncake, compost, wild seeds, fertilizer, barley, fairy rose. I don't think we haven't planted fairy roses at all, have we? A pear seedling, cocoa seedling, okay. So we can't get either of the we can't buy either of these yet i don't think we can buy barley but i don't think we can buy fairy roses so i'm gonna let's see how much is this going to cost me this is 10. uh mind you barley seeds are cheaper as well we've got eight days so we've still got a good week before we need to plant them. There we go. So we'll buy some of those then. Right, pamphlet. So first is smashing pumpkins. Let's uh, try it again. You had to get the right, exactly the right angle to smash the right pumpkin last time. So we see if it's changed. I know they have tweaked some and there have been glitches. See, I'm not, I'm not in exactly the right spot. Mm. 
Ooh. See, if you miss it, then you destroy your multiplier. Oh, and then of course you lose five points for that. Oh, the big ones give 10 now. I'm sure they gave less than that. Oh, now that we've got two and above 10 multiplier, the pumpkins give two points. Okay. So just don't miss one then, is essentially. See, 33. Oh. I thought I clicked... Um, Oh, you can't uh, practice. However, so, right, okay. We'll do it one more time. I'm not dashing around because uh, that uh, is not my style. So if I can keep up my multiplier without missing one. Oh. Try to keep up my multiplier without missing one. So if you've got a 10 multiplier and you do a big pumpkin, It's the first time I have ever, ever done that. Okay, so you want a 10 multiplier and then go for the big pumpkins because then you get 20 points each. <laughs> I think uh, if you watch my early access video on the Harvest Festival, I think I do that about five times and I'm atrocious at it. Completely terrible. Right, what's our next one? Apple bobbing mini game. This one was, uh, wasn't was too bad, so rewards we get, ooh, an apple sapling, oh, so that's a tree, must remember it's a tree, apple pie and apple jam, right then, oh, space, so we uh, want to go for the green apples, And I think uh, the red ones, yeah. But obviously not the half-eaten ones because they're not going to give you the points. And there's gold. Okay. So I think unless. Uh, Unless you need to go to the edge, staying in like the middle three, if you can stay there, it's probably better. Because there's a slight delay in the movements. And if you're not quite there, <coughs> you go, ooh, 111 points, only just then. Ooh, we're doing quite well. Let's see how our harvest goes. Main event. So completion rewards. So more than 75 points, we get a flower bouquet, then a moon cake, sprinkler level two, raven giant's ring, and a stamina fruit is our best one. I'm presuming, I think, I think we got to moon cake last time. We got a moon cake. Um, but I'm presuming 160, we're going to need like iridium crops and stuff. Submit crops. Low valuation. So we want a pumpkin. 
So we get six for each diverse. So medium valuation, 36 diversity. So I'm presuming that means we get 36 diversity points. So it was six uh, for each. Uh, medium valuation, okay. So if, uh, if that's medium valuation, if this is the best one, oh, 92, oh, it does tell us. Oh, okay, it didn't tell us before, it does tell us now. Um, so does this change anything? I just want to see. Um, oh, wow, that was a big difference, right, okay. Um, so medium variation, so that's not too bad then for our first go around. I think he got uh, 96 though, so unless they've lowered it. Can we talk to these guys? No. Right, let's, uh, let's start the main events then. So if you bring them, if you bring multiple, then you can check them. Which one's better than what? Hmm, interesting. Quite interesting indeed. Everyone, gather round, please. Let's get this ceremony underway. The Harvest Festival, it's not just about displaying the fruits of our labour, it's about celebrating the hard work, dedication and resilience of our farmers. Every single item on display here carries a story, a story of nurturing, patience and of perseverance. A story that represents the spirit of our communities, Scarlet Town and Beluga Bay. Now to introduce our competitors today. On my right, representing Scarlet Town is Nova! And on my left is Bobby, power proudly representing Beluga Bay. Three people who bothered to come. Now, with no more dilly-dallying, let's roll onto the moment we've all been eagerly anticipating the grand reveal. Scoring! Eight points, four points, eight points, nine points, twelve points, fifteen points. Okay, diversity thirty-six. These are all his. <gasps> oh, I wonder if they changed that or if it was eighty-four. Mind you, if we got the lower option, then we probably had less than that. We probably only got eighty something, but that's good. Okay, so okra wasn't very good, but that was a spring vegetable. I didn't bring a fall vegetable. Oh, I'm glad we won though. Loads better than last time. <laughs> Although last time I was going in completely blind. And this time at least I had a bit of, uh, a bit of foresight. The winner of today's harvest face-off goes to Scarlet Town. I look forward to seeing both of you back next year. Wait, what? No way. There's got to be some mistake. I mean, not that I care or anything, right? It's just, I thought, well, Daddy always says. <laughs> Never mind. All right, all right. You won this round, Nova. But don't think this means you're better than me. Next time, Nova, next time, you won't be so lucky. Just you wait and see. Cool! Completion rewards! Fab claim reward, thank you. So we get a mooncake. Submit crops, can I take them back out? Yes, I think I didn't do this last time. <laughs> um. 
cool. Um, so, yeah. So we got a moon cake. Um, but obviously, yeah, we've got a long way to go to get better. So you want... Mm, I just wonder which ones, unless it's um, crops you unlock afterwards. So like, um, while the pumpkin wasn't, the orchid was a, like, a later rank unlock, which might uh, have a bearing on it. However, we're going to have got a lot of merit points. Um, so I wonder if we'll be able, we'll have to check, see how much we've got. Um, it's getting late. It's good. Uh, actually, I think it's 4,000 merit points. So I don't think we're that high up in merit points to get the stamina fruit. So we got 40 for attending, 100 for the smash pumpkins, 100 for the apple bobbing, and 300 for the harvest display. So we're now up to 1,950. Relationship up with pretty much everybody. Cool. Orchid honey, see, orchid honey is the best. And now we're making cloth. Fab, so bag, relationships, three with Alice, so Lily isn't our friend, Luke isn't our friend, Macy, Nina, Pablo, Sam, and Yuri, Zara and Zoe. I'm going to have to start making friends at some point. Ooh, and our catching is nearly leveled up. And so is our ranching. That's fun. So I haven't really done much cooking, have I? So. What to do? I think I'll, uh, I might, uh, ooh, grapes. And I have no space. Okay, so actually, we're going to need to have to sort all these out. So that's food. Wow. Added defense flat. I don't know what that means. Plus two, two hours. I'm presuming that's just two defense. Uh, for that. Right, so let's um, sort all these and these. So grapes weren't only... Uh, grapes don't actually make wine in this game, which I found quite strange. See, uh, ooh, whoops, zoom in again. It just says makes grape juice or grape jam. I'm like, well, what's the point in that? Right, let's plant. So we have our cocoa beans and this one, whatever it was, I can't remember what it was now. Um, and we also have a tree. A tree. Now, um, I don't particularly want to have to cut down the tree. So I figured I may as well put it over here. So I was going to put trees along here anyway. 
So let's see. This is the end of my fence. Mm. Oh, have I have I got to uh, thingy the ground? I may have to. Let's try it out. No, I want you to put that away. Where's our hoe? So we want to here. I hope I haven't got to water it. Can't be used here. Uh, is it three by three? Um, right, okay, I have no idea how to plant a tree. Um, inventory. Apple sapping. Bears fruit in the fall, grows 28 days, and the surrounding eight tiles must be empty. Yield regular quality. They were all empty. Um... That is eight tiles, isn't it? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, yeah. Mm. Can I, can I put it here? Oh, I can't put it here. I can put it here, but I can't put it. I can put it here, but I can't put it here. So I'm presuming that's because of the fence, but that's not the surrounding eight tiles. That's that's even more. Okay. Um, so do I want to put the apple tree over here, maybe? So you won't let me put it there. The surrounding eight tiles are fine. Hmm. So it's actually the even more than that. Maybe I could put my trees over here then maybe. As it actually does need more space. Let's put it here then. Let's hope I don't forget about it. Um right, I'm going to tidy up a bit and then we'll see do the animals. Um, and see see if we can work out what to do next. Right, okay then. Um, so, um, our next, let's see, where are we going from here? Oh, Jeff Smith. The renowned farmer Jeff Smith not only heads the prestigious farming guild, also charms audience with his farming show. Fab. Oh, Yogi Shark. Known for its benevolent grin, the shark smile is says to lighten up even the gloomiest of waters. Hmm. Okay, so. Town rank. So we still got these two to go to get to D rank and we're very far off. Um... So that's not next. So we have free the wind giant and heal the coral tree. Help Paul gift Bree a pumpkin. Oh, we can do that. We have a pumpkin now. Um, nothing uh, interesting. I, I do want to build some more bee houses. We'll, we'll make two more and put those out. So we'll put some more orchids in there. Scarecrows, miscellaneous, and we want explosives. Um, let's make ten. That's how many we used um, for the other giant. Um, the silver mine to get 
down there because we will be aiming for that next episode. We did get to level 10. Um, right, what else? Where else are we? So ranching, we've got wait for foraging, catching, fishing, combat. So catching is sort of next, I suppose. But I just want to see if uh, if anything triggers really now that we're friends with a lot more people. Um, figured it's probably a good idea to see if any more cutscenes pop up. So I'm gonna wander around a bit and do some catching. Excellent pollinator. Uh, and just see if I think anything happens. I didn't bring the pumpkin for Brie. Errand. Shem wants some grapes. We can do that. So we have the spooky festival here. Um, we'll be trying to do the next giant next episode. And we also have uh, to try and get through the gold levels of the sea, the rest of those coral sites. Um, but other than those two things, I don't know what else much there is to do before the spooky festival. Um, unless, of course, more things pop up after the giant. Do we do the giant? I'm not too sure. Um, but so far, that's the current plan. Plan? Plan? What kind of word is plan? Right, pick up the pumpkin and the grape, and we will do those. And then see how far we get. A monarch caterpillar feeds on milkweed. Is that one we need? It is. It's an offering one. Fab. So Shem's at the beach. There we go. Time to work off all the sugar from yesterday. So what did she need? Give quest item grapes. There you go. Thank you. Oh, Nova, your contribution to the crop display was outstanding. Thank you. Give quest item. Thank you. Quest completed. Fab. Right then, I'm going to carry one, carry on wandering around, see if anything pops up, and be back in a bit. Okay then. So, ooh. Level 4 catching. Fab. As you can tell, I caught lots of things. Nothing new. Crawling critter scent. If that makes them easier to catch, we shall have to find out. Ooh, look at that shake. Rice wine. That's fab, right? So rice is definitely a good thing to be doing see lots of lots of bugs but not very good ones so um that will be the end of this episode next episode we will aim for the wind giant uh but we have to upgrade our pickaxe first um although i will put it all in the same episode um because we'll just have to wait a few days mainly for that um but if you liked uh, this video, please do all the things, like, subscribe, comment, 
and hopefully I will see you all in the next one. Bye!